Hi friends, it's time for another Squint podcast today. Um, I thought today I'd take my um, latest podcast from my 21 days of prayer. And so today's um, podcast comes from a teaching from a pastor, Jensen Franklin in North Carolina. <clears throat> and it brought back some great memories for me. Um, here's the passage. It comes out of Ezekiel 22, 30. And this is God telling the prophet e Ezekiel about the condition of the people of Israel, the nation of Israel. And God says, I looked for someone who might rebuild the wall of righteousness that guards the land. I searched for someone to stand in the gap in the wall so I wouldn't have to destroy the land, but I found no one. It's the idea that God was looking for someone to stand for righteousness for the people of Israel to could, that could fill in that gap to keep the enemy out, and he couldn't find anybody. I first heard this teaching... Second. <clears throat> I first heard this teaching 24 years ago at the Promise Keepers Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a clergy conference. It was for pastors only. And it was held in the Georgia Dome. And I remember being there for two and a half days. <clears throat> there were 40,000 pastors that filled the Georgia Dome. And I remember uh, the theme that year was being men who will stand in the gap, uh, tearing down things like uh, the, the two big things that we were praying about to stand in the gap on was racial reconciliation and the walls of denominationalism. And, uh, it, was, and, and, and it was amazing because I saw we all were convicted greatly, I believe, and I saw there over those two and a half days, 24 years ago, so many of us and men of different color coming together and praying for one another, acknowledging the hardships, acknowledging maybe where we had fallen short in helping each other and understanding each other and loving each other. And it was tremendously powerful movement of God. And I would watch from that point on, from the middle 90s all the way into the early 20s, uh, 2009, 2010, and, and just thought that God was doing great things in that area. And then to my surprise, I get caught off guard in 2020, as now I'm seeing all sorts of cries of racism. Uh, we're in a pandemic. People are reacting against government uh, intrusion and, and uh, just our, the, the culture is just not healthy. It's like a broken down wall and we just need, rather than to point fingers at one another, to understand some things about the wall. Because I believe that the real enemy is Satan. And I want to share some passages of scripture with you <clears throat> um, that come out of this teaching. A hedge is a protective wall. It keeps out invaders. It keeps out the enemy and protects the people from those on the outside that would do harm. And Job, um, Satan's complaint against God was that he wanted to inflict Satan, but he couldn't because God had put a hedge of protection around Job. And it says in Ecclesiastes, uh, whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. It's the idea that a broken down wall brings in the enemy. Isaiah 5, 5 talks about God's vineyard. And yet <clears throat> the hedge that protected the vineyard has been, de been destroyed. And of course the psalmist says, um, talks about a broken down wall, Psalm 80 verse 12, talks about a broken down wall and people who come in and take whatever they want. So I believe that the key then is fasting and prayer. That's why this teaching is so good out of 21 days of prayer. Um, that if when we pray and when we fast, that the hedges are going to go back up around our nation, our families, and our churches. And I believe there's a shocking lack of prayer and fasting needed to raise uh, these hedges. So I'm encouraging you to stand with me, to stand in the gap, be a, stand in the gap, be a hedge builder that God would put uh, that we would stand in the gap and that keeps Satan and his activity out. And so uh, that's my plea today. That, and this devotion is really simple. That's my plea. Let's be hedge builders. Let's be people who throw our bodies into the gap and stand in that gap for our, for our, our nation, for our states, for our leaders, for our families, 
And then when we stand in the gap, let's pray by name and, and pray for these leaders that are over us. Intercede for those even away from God so that, 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 that they might hear God's word and be protected by God. Um, it says in Psalm 106.23 about Moses, God was going to destroy the people of Israel had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach, the gap, uh, to keep his wrath from destroying them. If Moses had not been a hedge builder, uh, they would have seen destruction. Thirty times in the Old Testament, it says that God repented. He didn't change his character, but he changed what his actions were going to be based upon the, the movements of people in prayer. So my word today is, I ask you to join me to be uh, a person who stands in the gap. Let's be a person who pr uh, uh, protects and restores the hedge of protection around all those that are near and dear to us and even name them by name uh, when we pray. And so that's my encouragement to you and my, my request to you is that you be a hedge builder. You be a man or a woman who will stand in the gap. And when you do stand in that gap, pray for those and even call them by name. And let me lead by example as we close out this podcast today. Father, we thank you for all that you've done for us. And we pray now today, we pray for our world, we pray for our country, God, that you would just be with those who oversee, uh, be with our government leaders, be with President Trump, Lord. And uh, I pray that your favor and protection upon him. I pray that if he doesn't know you, God, that you would bring people in his pathway that they might know you. I pray that, that you would help them, Lord, to do what is right, God, that they would hear your voice. I pray that for our all of our leaders in the, in the, in the Congress and the uh, courts, God, the, ju the judicial branch and the legislative branch, God, that you would be with them. I pray that for our state of Michigan. I pray for Government Whitmore, God, that you'd help her to, go help her to govern wisely that her, your favor may be upon them. And if, too, if she and other leaders do not know you, Father, that you might bring people in their pathway to build positive relationships with them, that they might come to know you, God. And we pray that for all of our, our uh, state leaders, God. I pray for those employers, those that are over us. And you can pray for those who are over you, over me at the Potter's House. I pray for John Boy, our superintendent, and for Mr. Alf Clark, our high school principal that you had your protection around them and their families, God, and what they, their valuable work at the potter's house, God, that you would protect them, Lord. And then I pray for our families, God. I pray for my wife. I pray for my kids. And I pray for my friends, those who are close to God, and even those who are far from God, that people might come into their lives and they might draw close. I pray in all these things, God, that you put hedges of protection around us so that we can hear your voice clearly and that we can enjoy your blessing. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's my word today, my hope, my prayer, that you will be a person who stands in the gap. Be a hedge builder. Be a prayer warrior. Join me in 21 days of prayer, and I'll catch you on the next Squint podcast soon.